I just finished my first year of my MKH program at Columbia and I have gotten a lot of questions about what it's like to get your MPH from Columbia, um, just about public health in general, um, about public health and your MPH in regards to med school, and questions like that. So I figured I would reflect on my first year and hopefully answer some of those common questions. And so that you don't just have to listen to me talk, I brought someone else to talk about uh, our experience at Mailman. So this is Tim. Hi. Um, and I do also want to note that I am in a two-year MPH program and Tim is in a one-year MPH program, so he just finished his whole degree in the one year that we were there, so he might have some different perspectives on some of that stuff, but do you feel like your classes and assignments are helping you gain important career training? So I, I think that really depends on the class and also on your career, obviously. Um, you know, if you, if you want to do epidemiological research, then you're going to have a great time to, with the statistical classes and the you know, intervention design and, and all of that kind of stuff. And you might not enjoy like the health econ class so much. So I think that really does depend. I do know that there are classes that are very much so focused on uh, the transition from you know school and theory to practice. Um, I just took a class this past spring that was a consulting class that basically just uh, sent us out into the world, and we actually worked with a client, um, like a third-party client for the semester, and we did a project. Um, so that was obviously very much so a career. Uh, transition kind of class so mm -hmm. and that, that consulting class that you took is more commonly like a second year class sure. so you got to take that because you were an accelerated but um, I think for the two-year students that a lot of those like application based classes that are going to be a little bit more helpful maybe in your career are going to take place more in your second year whereas the first year serves to kind of give you that theoretical baseline so in my experience I think like the first year classes that I've had haven't been super like career ready, well, um, haven't been super like application based or like practically based, but um, the that kind of feeds into the next question, which is like how and why did you choose your concentration? Um, and something that's specific to, um, my, to both our concentrations is that um, the Health Policy Management Department at Columbia has like a specific like separate course that's just for professional development that all the two year students have to take. Um, so he didn't have to take that, but um, that was maybe a little bit more like readying you for your career sort of thing, but in a very like general sense of like resumes and cover letters and interview tips and things like that. But um, so, how did you choose your concentration? Well, I uh, I applied to my to MPH programs with the goal of kind of familiarizing myself with the healthcare landscape. Um, so I'll be going to medical school uh, in the following semester. Um, and so my plan is to mainly focus on that, but I wanted to have an understanding of how the health system works as a whole, and health policy seemed like the best place to kind of get that, uh, that, that level of kind of bird's eye view of the of health system. Um, so that's, that's how I wound up here. <laughs> I have a bit more anecdotal answer. So I did behavioral health research in undergrad, and so I thought that I was going to come into Columbia um, applying for the sociomedical sciences department, um, which is more like the behavioral aspect side of things. Um, but I got involved in AMWA, the American Medical Women's Association, and they do a lot of advocacy work. And that kind of made me switch gears, and that was why I chose um, HPM, the, the Health Policy Management Department, for when I came to Columbia. Yeah. Um, and why did you choose to apply to Columbia, and like, how many programs did you apply to, and just kind of like what was your general ap application process like? Yeah, so I applied to three or four schools. Um, Columbia was one of them, and I, I knew I wanted to live in New York, um, like, so th that was a huge plus for me, actually. I, I thought it would be really fun to live in New York one, uh, one more year. And then um, Columbia also, I mean, it's just such a great school. It has such a great reputation. The, the researchers here and the faculty are all just completely world class. Um, it's really hard to get that anywhere else. Um, I also applied to Dartmouth, um, but I wound up not going, partly because of the location. It is so isolated up there, um, and I didn't really want to um, be kind of in another small town. I grew up in a small town, so I've been trying to escape small towns for most of my life now. Um, but so I, I didn't really want to go back to that. 
Um, and then I also applied to Tufts MPH program in Boston, um, but I'd, I'd spent a year in Boston already and I was kind of looking to, um, to explore a little bit more and, and see, you know, have, have new experiences. So uh, I, I chose Columbia. <laughs> yeah, um, so I applied to seven programs. Um, are you shaking your head at me? Yeah. Oh, okay. I applied to seven programs, um, and I also applied to Dartmouth. They have an accelerated program, so their program is only 11 months, um, which was obviously what you were looking for, but what I ended up deciding I didn't want to do. Um, and the other accelerated program I, I applied to was Miami, so um, since I'm from Florida, like staying in, in Florida and everything. Um, but when it came down to like the last um, three schools that I was like deciding between, um, I ended up picking Columbia one because it had a uh, health policy management department and I think that like that like the school having what you want to do and having people with that expertise is way more important than anything else like it's way more important than like the school's ranking or like you know location or like I mean if you're in graduate school like you're supposed to be specializing in a certain thing and so like you know, Columbia has world-class faculty that study all sorts of different things, and so it's, like, fairly easy to find someone studying, like, what you want to do. But if you have very specific interests, I think making sure that the school that you end up going to has someone that's studying at least something similar to that that can, like, help you further yourself in that very specific area is, like, the most important thing. So, um, yeah, Columbia had the Health Policy Management Department. Um, and I knew I wanted to do health policy, so um, that ruled out um, Brown. Brown doesn't have a specific um, health policy management department. Um, and then it was just kind of like after that, like the resources and the faculty and things like that, which I mean, Columbia, like you can't go wrong. So, um, oh, and I only applied to schools that took my MCAT score too. So that was part of my application process because I didn't want to take the GRE. I'd already taken the MCAT and gotten that over with. I didn't want to take another standardized test for as long as I had to. So yeah, I only applied to schools that would take my MCAT uh, score. So which, which is the vast majority of them, I think. You'd be surprised. Really? Yeah, going through the booklet on SOFAS mm -hmm. um, that like has like all the admissions requirements, like I struck out a lot of schools because they wouldn't take my MCAT score. Wow. And sometimes they don't say on their website, so you have to call them and like, it's a whole thing. Yes. <laughs> um, and on the topic of applications, if you had to single out one component of your application that you think helped you get in, what would you say it was? Um, I think probably the, the work I'd done with a free clinic over the past year. Uh, or not this past year, but the year before that, um, was the biggest influential thing. Actually, I just had a conversation with my advisor about this, and certainly for my program, she was very clear that they don't even look at grades just because of the amount of grade inflation there is. Um, and so I would say that getting A's is always a good thing. It's never going to hurt you. But um, at, definitely for at least my program, it was emphasized that showing that you had a true commitment to public health and that you actually really did have interest in the things that you said you had interest in um, was, was far more of a, a weedy uh, factor in whether or not they decided to um, accept your application. So I, I do want to give a little bit of a disclaimer. I'm, the grades in the, in the test scores definitely will close doors for you if you don't have ones that are like up to, up to speed. It's just that having, you know, a uh, a 525 MCAT isn't going to necessarily get you in. Yeah. And certainly no one will turn you away because of it, but uh, but that by itself mm -hmm. is, is not as meaningful as, as maybe something else. So No, yeah, for sure. I mean, like, I people ask me all the time, like, oh, I have, like, a 3.3 GPA in undergrad. Like, do you think I'd still get into Columbia? And, like, as long as you have other, like, things that you can show that you have a passion for public health, um, as long as you, like, can have some sort of like extracurricular or like something to show that you kind of like believe in the mission of the school and align with the mission of the school like you're like 3.3 your 3.0 like your whatever GPA from undergrad like isn't going to to not get you into like you're not going to be denied from Columbia specifically because of that sure yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think that's like just a major concern that a lot of people get really hung up on that I don't think they should yeah I agree yeah. 
Um, and concluding remark, um, what do you wish you had known before starting your MPH? So this is the question that I got asked that I was like, hmm, I should reflect, do a whole like reflection on um, my first year, because that's a really good question. Like, what do I wish I had known before I started? And I honestly don't even know if I have an answer yet, but. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's a tough one. Um, I think, um, I think the the biggest thing is that you know it, it'll all it all works out. It all like no matter how stressful the assignments seem or how intense you know life is at any given point, like it, it all works out. And the faculty really are there to ensure that everyone is successful. Um, and they they might grade hard, but at the end of the day, it does it works out for everyone, or at least for the most part. Um, the other thing I think that I really do wish I had known was how my schedule was going to look um, the second semester because I really would have liked to, I think, get more experience in some kind of public health related capacity um, through, a, through an internship or a job. Yeah, I think that um, my answer is somewhat similar in the way that um, I wish I had known that like it, everything is just like like graded differently, like different things are like being looked for in assignments, and obviously that varies school to school as well, and like different things like that. But um, yeah, I don't know if that's like a very good answer. But <laughs> <laughs> if there are any other questions about um, my experience or Tim's experience this first year at Columbia, um, feel free to leave a comment or send me a message, and. Um, yeah, enjoy your summer. Happy summer, everybody. I hope your finals went well.